How is it going, boys and girls? Darb guy here, and welcome back to another ranked 1v1 duel video. And today, we are continuing the A to Z series by playing some Hebo. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm speaking slowly because I'm a little upset at the moment, okay? I'm a little triggered. I've played three Hebo games before this, and now. <laughs> Why, man? Can somebody just play something normal, please? Well, I you'd be like, oh, Darby, you just played like Ganesh and Geb in the backdooring spam laughers when you didn't get annoyed there. How are you possibly irritated when you're playing an S-tier character like Hebo? And let me break it down for you. So, I get on, I open Smite, I lock Hebo, I immediately go into a double defense for Mana with Fatalis, and there's absolutely nothing I can do. Like, he literally just runs at me. I, could, I can't poke him out, I can't full commit him, I can't run away from him, I can't get away from him. He just tanks my phoenix. I just can't do anything. That felt absolutely atrocious. I was like, alright, that sucks. re -queued. I immediately play Hebo and do a Fenrir who just one-shots me at level 3 and then level 5 and then level 9. And then, if that's not even worse, I was like, alright, that's even more annoying, I'm actually upset now. I queue up a third game, I play against another Vamana! Another Vamana, the same, the, the, the same exact thing, double defense Fatalis. I spend the entire game running away, then he just tanks my Phoenix, kills me, and I lose the game off it. You might be asking, like, why didn't you ban Vamana? I didn't think I needed to! Nobody plays Vamana right now. What are the odds of two Vamanas while I'm playing Hebo? So this has gone absolutely horrible so far, and now I'm playing against a uh, Maui. Which is going to go horrible for him, I imagine. I'm not going to build defense, because... I'm nice. <sighs> okay, rant over. Alright, I just wanted a short little rant about why the energy might be a little off at the moment. I'm not going to go too far into it. But we're starting Doom Orb, because I want a lot of power, and it gives... Well, the issue with Hebo is he hits very hard. And, um, one of his biggest issues is just mana. And so if I go Doom Orb, I get a lot of power, which makes me be able to hit hard, as well as getting a large amount of MP5, which allows me to fight easily. I'm as <laughs> No, man! Oh my god, what a fucked up day! What a fucked up day, man. Help me. I'm pretty sure the last like four to five A to Z videos have just been painful for me. They really have. They've been painful. I mean, I don't think the Heimdallir one was. I mean, I guess I had some really bad matchup before I got that matchup, kind of like this one. Oh, this A to Z series is just treating me poorly. It's like, this is like an abusive girlfriend. I just won't leave my house. And so I'm just like stuck here, doing this. He was not even bad, man. This was just unlucky. He is an S-tier character. I'm just a F-tier luckiest racist, too. Why not? Let's throw that out on there. Let's get as many allegations as I possibly can. Nonetheless, though. If you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by subscribing. It really would mean the world to me. I want to hit 1k by the end of the year, and it's looking very likely at the moment. But, I also want to talk about something real quick, so... I haven't felt fully... Like, I really enjoy... Okay, let me preface it with this. I really enjoy content creation, obviously, or I wouldn't have done it for like a year to as little success as I've gotten. I've built up like a pretty small fan base when... I love all of you. It's, it's awesome that like... A hundred people watch me every single day. Like, that's insane. But it wasn't really the type of interaction I've been looking for as a content creator. And um, I really do enjoy the recording process. Not as much the editing process. That's why my videos are pretty low edited. I just don't enjoy editing that much. But um, you're going to see... Oh, my nose is so stuffed. You're going to see a noticeable difference up in the after this video, the next video, 
and um, every other video, you're going to see a bit of something different that I'm not going to explain for a little bit. So you're going to be like, what the, what the, what, 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 what happened in here, man? What, what go on? And I'm not going to say anything about it. So, you know, I just want to point that out and you guys will know in the future. But for now, you will not know. He's going to Maui ult me in the tower. Where can Maui ult um, one shot me? I'm getting off track. But yeah, um, I won't be talking about it too much for a little bit. Just because it's a way for me to do... Continue doing what I like to do, but also try to find the more interaction that I'm looking for. <laughs> Female interaction. So, just letting you know, there's you're going to notice a change, okay? I don't want to back, I'll be honest. I definitely, I have no potions and I'm half health. But I don't want to back. Do I have to? Is he going to kill me? Oh my god! The answer is yes! He detonated me! He literally detonated me. Jesus. That's very deserved. Good on him. He killed a Hebo with Maui. I'm proud of him. I'm going to give him full credit. He's winning. <laughs> He's a winning. Actually, no, we're tied. I forgot. I got to kill. This is such a weird change of pace for me getting spam laughed by a Fenrir and a... I mean, the Vamanas didn't spam laugh, which was nice, which is weird. You'd be like, ah, oh, the Vamana player, of course, you've been spam laughed by every single character in the game. Surely, surely you playing against Vamana, you're going to get spam laughed. Now the, the Vamana players are just kind of beating me. They were like, yeah, fucking go next. <laughs> they did not spam laugh me, which is very odd. I used to be a big Vamana player. Vamana is still probably my second favorite guardian in the game, or warrior, my bad, in the game. Um, Just a lot of characters have jumps in the I mean, that's not even an excuse, really. Vamana, you can play around jumps as Vamana. It's just really bad Vamana matchups, like Hoi and on her and... And Kali and Freya. Because of really S-tier characters, Kronos, overplayed characters that... Absolutely, you should never beat a Kronos as Vamana. And I don't ban Vamana, but Vamana's good into, like, Poseidon. Just end that sentence there. I don't need to. I don't need to add any more gods. You get the point. He's getting the Poseidon. Okay. Um, I want to go warlocks next. We're gonna double stack. I feel like this might be a bit of a longer game, only because unless he surrenders, but he's a warrior going def two defensive items. He's going um stone of binding to reduce my magical protections. But, um, I'm not building defense. So. Definitely not good. If I was Maui, what would I build? I don't know, because Maui can clear wave with this one pretty well. But... Um, his cooldowns are just so long that if you use your abilities on clearing wave, you just... You don't have anything to hit the enemy god with. Me and this guy are just walking around. Missing our abilities on each other. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I... He got stuck between the rocks. I'll be honest, I meant to hit him with that ult. It was not meant... To, I was not ulting to dodge his ult. I meant to hit his ult, but... I guess his ult is in his kill potential, so... I mean, obviously, I'm not going to try hard against Maui. Unless it was, like... I, I say that any time I play against a Guardian. Like, I played on uh, my Naja against Hatmaster, and he was on Terra. And I was like, well, I'm not going to try hard against the Terra, especially about a YouTuber like Hatmaster. And then he killed me once, and then the second fight was really close, and then the third fight was really close, but I killed him, and I was like, all right, well, if I don't want to get ran over, I actually have to try hard. <laughs> so I had to try hard as Naja against um, Hatmaster's Terra. Then I played Bastet against his Kuzumbo 1, and then I played Bastet against his Kuzumbo and lost. No, Naja against his Kuzumbo and lost. I lost, which is funny enough because I, I built Physical D against the Kuzumbo. His chat was laughing at me. But he said GG, and he was like, wow, you came really close to, to winning, even though you had basically you were down an item. And I was like, I'm an idiot! And now I'm playing Hebo into Maui. What a, what a tragic day. What a fuck. You can also build stacks off that like that, see? 
I want a book of. Th I went up a book of thought stack. I want to hit it one more time. Ready? Uh, warlock stack. Just that easy. Why did I do that? It's the farming. Okay. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Bro, oh, that such a skill-based character. I'm on, man. What can I say? I'm Hibwa. Hibwa. I click three, I click Y, and if it's not a Fenrir or a Vamana, I'm fine. Bro, every A to Z, I'm getting awful matchups, I feel like. I mean, of course, I'm not showing. I mean, do you guys want to see? Like, for future, because I, I, didn't, I didn't keep the recording of the Vamana or the Fenrir just because it wasn't really enjoyable for me to play, neither. I imagine it's not enjoyable to watch either. But like, let's say when I get down to Loki, if I play Loki into Ho Yi and I just get absolutely bullied for 15 minutes, do you want me to keep that in the A to Z video? Just to like show the experience? Because I feel like every A to Z I'm getting a really bad matchup. But maybe that's what you guys want to see. So just let me know. He is going defense now, which is good for him. God, he did. He actually did decent damage. Shock. He baited me almost. Shock. He's healthy. Like he's got a lot of health. Hey, don't back, don't back, don't back. I won the red. Hey, hey, buddy. So I'm gonna go. I just went as like heavy damage items as I can. So I went Doom Orb, I'm double stacking with Warlocks and Thoth, uh, I'm going Rada to Hootie, and I'm gonna go like two really high damage items after this. I'm thinking, I'm gonna have zero cooldown. So maybe I should get like a Chrono Spending or something, I just realized. Jinx, off the keyboard. Why do you keep doing this? Yeah, I was just damage testing there. Honestly, not bad damage at all. That's just not where I placed that three. I think the reason I miss my Hebo ones is because I, I get too close to them. Because, like, the cone gets smaller the closer you are. I'm gonna kill you. Give me the jump. Woo, okay. You know what? You brought an island, so... I guess that's your home now. How many stacks does Warlocks take? I thought it was 75. Is it still 75? I mean, I guess I haven't hit 75 yet, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Like, I'm past 75. Oh my god. He just almost one-tapped me. I feel like since I'm such a low health target, we can both one-shot each other as easy. I mean, I can't one-shot him. But I'm Hebo, so. What the? You're invading, man! I, I thought I trust in you. I didn't invade you when I could. And here you are. Invading my blue. Betraying all the trust we had made. He doesn't take damage yet. I need pen. He's a guardian, man. No, you're not going anywhere. We're staying here. I'm, I'm killing you, and I'm taking your blue. How is he still alive, man? Look at him. He took like 18 abilities. He's so tanky. Now he's OP. Hey, come here. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. What? Where are you going? Well, now I have to take your blue. Yeah. Clear wave first. It's by Cardinal. That's the Darby rule number one. I don't invade your blue until you invade my blue. And then I will be invading every blue I can. Time. Hell 
Okay. We'll go Obsard into... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we just don't get that item then. That's the Juke Demon. I missed again. Dude, he's the Juke Demon. He's just better than me. Red Booth is mine. Okay, we'll clear wave back for our Rob Shard. Actually, we'll get our blue buff first. I still don't know what I want to get next item. Maybe like a Soul Reaver? Thoughts? I don't want to buy. That was a non range. I'm coming for you. Okay, he's not coming for me. I knew you were waiting around the corner. I know you too well, Maui. Yeah, we'll get our ob shard and your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. I think I need cooldown. Or hear me out. I want my ult to hit hard. Spear of Magus, three ult, one billion damage. <coughs> I am about to be a late game Hebo, so I should be able to one tap at this point. <coughs> Sorry. Where's he at? I'm just gonna go to Bull Demon. Is he a knower? He was just trying to alt it. No. You can't touch this. I'm Habwa. Habwa. I'm Habwa. Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed. And nonetheless, I hope you have an amazing rest of your nights. Peace.